don't hope you can see me okay. Light's a bit iffy at the minute, it's still early, it's a bit foggy out there. Um, yeah, just going for a bit of a practice with a few of the lads. Got quite a few matches on there this year. Um, this month I've got a pairs match uh, with my good colleague Rob Pullin. So, yeah, got in have a bit of a practice and hope to catch a few. Um, so, yeah, I'll film a little bit of that for you today. Um, just to mention about last weekend, uh, which was the Sonia Bates Feeder Master Super League, teams of four. Um, I did film a little bit for you, there wasn't a great deal to film from my perspective because I had a real bad one. Um, yeah, I dry netted, uh, didn't have a bite, uh, real shocker. Um, all I could do was apologise to my teammates because I really did let them down because I had the peg really, drew a really good peg and expected to do well off of it. Um, don't understand what went wrong, but uh, that's fishing for you, you can get a bit lost sometimes and I think I did. The guy next to me done really well. I think he comes second in the section and second overall. So just goes to show there was fish around. But whatever I was doing, it, it wasn't right. And uh, yeah, so anyway, that's fishing for you. That's what it's all about. Um, yeah, a, a big thank you to Sonia Bates and uh, Preston Innovations for putting the uh, the event on. It was a great event and really enjoyed it. And yeah, look forward to uh, to next year. Hopefully, can do a bit better qualify but uh, yeah once again apologies to my teammates I should have done better really and given them a chance of qualifying so, but there we are well um, I'll show you a couple of clips of what I of what I did film so you can have a little look at what it's about but uh, yeah sadly no fish to report from my perspective um, yeah so like I say off to Free Meadows today um, hope to get a couple of balls and um, yeah, hopefully to show you a few fish. So uh, I shall see you on the back soon. Well, good morning. I'm Adam Andrews, and this is In The Swim. Yeah, it's uh, March the 31st. It's the, uh, the day of the Sonia Bates Feeder Masters Super League qualifier. Have a bath. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, hello and welcome to the Sony Bates Speed Em Up qualifier for the Super League for 2019. 20 teams here today. As you all know, there was well over 60 teams to fly for this. So, um, congratulations on being here. You can tell how popular it is. I didn't have any dropouts or anything like that. So, uh, I can tell that there is a real buzz. And we're always thinking about things like that. So, we've already booked the venue next year for two days. So, there will be two. 20 team qualifiers with a top four on each day will go through. Just to try and give more of you a chance to get here, because obviously you appreciate there's that many, we have to do a draw. So if we can draw 40 teams out instead of 20, that's got to be best for everybody. So I really, really look forward to that. Um, of course, the biggest thanks for us today goes to Sony Bates. Without them, we wouldn't really be having this competition because they're doing a great job helping us with loads of things really really does make a big difference and as you've probably seen from the way we do things at Freedom Masters we try to give everything back that the angles put in all right and that helps us do that so big round of applause please for Sony Bates. I'm a big boy here as well this ship. Darren Cox, it's Rob Pullen, it's a man from the oddball. Paul Rayner, Another man from the odd pole. Say hello, Paul. Oh, no. <laughs> Richard Lionel. He's the main man of the odd balls. Say hello, Richard. <laughs> I'm going to have to edit that out, you know that, don't you? Odd Oh, this is us. Oh, well, 
unfortunately, I don't know if you can see, but I've got trees all above me, which is going to make it very difficult casting, and I've got to chuck a long way. So yeah, going to have to be a bit inventive for the cast. Anyway, this is me set up. That's my stand for the day. Uh, like I say, it's going to be a little bit adventurous with the casting, uh, with the trees above me. Um, but yeah, hopefully I should be able to manage to get out there. So, I'm not going to be able to do a great deal of filming, because obviously I've got to concentrate on the fishing. The time now is... What's the time? It's 10 o'clock, so we've got an hour to go before kickoff. So, um, time to have a, a cup of coffee and uh, yeah, chat tactics with the other team, and, uh, team members. And uh, yeah, then it's all in and hopefully bag up. So I'll see you later. Well, we're 20 minutes into the match now. Um, I've gone out on the hybrid feeder with the wafter and uh, haven't had a touch yet. And, uh, a couple of um, a couple of very small liners. Yeah, it's on my second cast now. Chap to my right uh, had a small F1 and I've seen one decent carp caught to my left. Um, a few pegs down. But, uh, yeah, I was kind of hoping it was going to go round straight away. But, uh, there we go. We keep going, sort of doing about 10 15 minute casts. Unfortunately, um, to my left, um, for four pegs down, um, they seem to be catching fairly steady. They're able to hit the island almost, so um, it's obviously a favourable spot. But yeah, these last sort of pegs coming this way off of them, we've all gone very quiet. He's had literally three fish early doors next door to my right, and he's been quiet for the last hour and a half. Land to me left, so just had the one pull. Um, yeah, so it's uh, yeah, it's gone very quiet. But just gonna start experimenting, going a little bit further out. I did try coming in a bit closer. Once again, had a couple of little touches, but no proper pulls. So I'm now just gonna start experimenting, going further and further out, see if I can find any fish. So we're over on Overton. Um, there's gonna be nine or ten of us fishing, nine at the minute. So uh, looks like we're gonna be going from pegs. Um, high 20s, sort of downwards, so yeah, there's a couple more turning up now, so yeah, it'll be about 10 of us, which is good. So, yeah, I shall uh, let you know what I draw. You won't want to be there. No, no, I would. Where are you starting, you want, Chris? 12 to 22. Oh, I think we're going from 12 to 22. Oh, yeah, 10 to 22. Oh, sorry, 10, <laughs> 10 to 22. Uh, uh, another <laughs> MPEG. Uh, another <laughs> MPEG gone. Go on, keep. Fucking cool. You want it like 12. <laughs> Well, that's me for the day. Now I get tackled up. Right, that's me tackled up. As you can see. Yeah. Not seen any fish moving yet. Quite a few cormorants out there on the barrels, but uh, yeah, that's going to be my target really. One of those barrels. So head for that and uh, see how we get on. So got about half an hour before the match kicks off. It's uh, 10 o'clock. It's 10 to half three. So yeah, I shall see you in a minute once I start fishing. Well, that's a couple of minutes to the off now. Um, yeah, I'm going to fish two lines. I've got one quite long, about 60 meters. One at about 30 meters. <coughs> um, both traditional, both on the, on the feeder, and uh, one's on a helicopter rig, which is the one that's going a bit further out, mainly to just try and avoid tangles. Um, closer one is just on an ordinary sliding rig, as you can see. Um, yeah, just going to get a bit of feed out there on both the lines as soon as um, as soon as the, the all-in goes, and um, 
yeah, now I'm going to go back on the long line. First of all, probably do um, sort of 10 minute casts, see how I get on. Might even be doing 7 minute casts, so we'll see. Just to keep sort of keeping a regular bit of bait going out there. Um, going to be chopping the changing, maggot, worm, pinkies, sweet corn, um, and uh, yeah, just kind of see how I get on. Oh, there we go, all in, let's get some bait out there. fishing for a couple of hours now um, I had nothing on my long line fished that for about an hour and a half didn't have a bite at all not a pull um, mate boy next door to me um, he had two fish quite early on but he's gone very quiet now but he had three bites and two fish um, yeah so I've gone on my short line now and uh, yeah first cast after about seven minutes I had a half decent pull struck nothing there but my maggot was sucked um, and I've had two more two more eight minute casts since then um, and on both occasions I've had a, a liner um, but my bait wasn't touched so I'm now on my fourth cast and I decided to go over on a bit of worm with a bit of chop worm in, in with my ground bait just to see you know if that can entice a, a better bite um, but it's been out there now for about nine and a half minutes and it, it hasn't gone round so I'll probably bring it in at about 15 minutes and go back out there again with a, a couple of dead reds on which is what I got the bite on before but a little bit more positive looks like there's a few fish around but uh, I don't know what size they are but obviously if I'm getting liners and, and I've had a pull um, seems silly really to move off of that line at the moment so um, yeah so I'll give this, this cast a little bit longer on a chop worm. If I have nothing on that, then I'll go over to dead reds again. Hopefully, I have a fish very soon to show you. Well, it's about an hour and a half to go. Um, unfortunately, my shorter line, it never really comes to anything. I had one proper pull with a suck maggot, and then three liners, um, and that was it. It just went dead went back out on the longer line but on a method feeder this time I was out there for 20 minutes didn't get a touch um, so I've just gone back out on the longer line now on a normal conventional feeder um, yeah that's been out there now for nearly seven minutes and haven't had a touch on it so yeah it's been really quiet it's quite a few of us that haven't even had a bite um, <coughs> quite a few of us yeah but I mean obviously I'm <laughs> I've had a bite but no fish guy to my right has had three fish um, and there's one guy further down that's had two and, um, and then I think one other chap's had one and that's it um, I'm lucky enough to have had a bite but all the others haven't even had a bite so it's uh, yeah fishing very tough got about an hour and a half to go so I'm probably going to do one more chuck on this long line um, and uh, yeah if I get nothing on that then I'll go back on the short line see how I get on there fingers crossed for the last hour and a half Well, I don't know if you can see this, but it's uh, yeah, it's been raining for about the last half an hour. It's just started to get quite heavy. We've got half an hour to go. Still
still haven't caught a fish. Still getting the odd liner, but just not getting bites. I've struck on a couple of them, thinking they were bites, but maggots haven't been touched, so they must have just been liners. So, um, yeah, all on the short line. No movement at all on the tip on the longer line. So, with half an hour to go, I might stick a, a window feeder on on my longer line. Stick a load of chopped worm in there and put a worm on it and just leave it out there. Just hope it goes round. Um, there's definitely fish moving around on my shorter line, but I suspect they're just probably small ones. And um, every now and then just knocking into my line and uh, maybe just giving the maggot a bit of a pull, but not, you know, not having a proper go at it. So, that's, um, I tried coming in a little bit closer on a couple of occasions, just in case the fish were a little bit closer in. And that's why I was getting the liners, but not got a touch. So, yeah, very strange. But, uh, yeah, could have done without the rain, but there we go. Once again, it's all part of fishing. So, half an hour to go. I can't believe it, my tip went round. I actually hooked a fish. At last! Thought I was going to have another dry net then. Well, that was welcome. I don't know if you can see that, but nice skimmer, about two pound. Go again, see if we can get another one. Still got time, still got time. Tip's just gone straight round again. Weren't even out there 30 seconds. Sat there all day, no bites. Oh dear, this has gone solid. This one feels a bit bigger. Yeah, sat there all day, no bites, and within two casts, about two fish. Unbelievable. And that's fishing for you, that's why you should never give up in match fishing. You just never know. I don't think it is any bigger, it's just uh, a fighting bag. Yeah, it's about, uh, about the same size as the last one actually. Right. 
go again, see if we can get another one. We ain't got long left now. So there's probably only about 10 minutes left. Well, I'm not looking at the camera. I hope you can hear me. I just had another massive liner. Struck hoping it was going to be another fish, but it was just a liner. So, really are literally into the last few minutes now. So, yeah, I was hoping that was going to be another fish because then that would have been three in the net. So, four fish in the net would have potentially had a bit of a chance. So, but uh, never mind, it was just a liner. I'm back out there again now. But, uh, yeah, like I say, literally are into the last few minutes. So, hopefully it'll go around quickly. Might get a third. As you can see, it's still hammering down the rain. Not particularly pleasant. It's just nice to finally, uh, finally catch a couple. Finally get the fish moving onto your bait you've been putting out there all day. Just a pity you didn't happen a little bit earlier on. We're literally going to the last couple of minutes, if that. Hasn't gone round again, had that big liner. Caught two, big liner, and it hasn't gone round on this cast, so. Got a couple of tiny touches. Still fish around there, but uh, yeah. Very strange. <laughs> two casts, two fish. Nothing all day. And then two casts and two fish. There you are. So yeah, like I say, we're into the last uh, last throws of the match now. Still pouring down with rain. It's going to be a little bit of a wet packing away. That's it, all out, all out! I'll see you at the weigh-in. <laughs> Well done, buddy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but he's all optimistic. Some cool ones in there. <laughs> no, 
Uh, seven and eight. <laughs> oh no. Two, four. Give him three. Nine pound three. <laughs> well done, Chris. Yeah. It's lovely, isn't it? Well, that's it, all packed away on my way home, paid for parking. Uh, yeah, well done to uh, Rob Scotting uh, for winning it. Uh, nine pounds, or oh, was it nine nine? I think he had in the end, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, well done, Chris Hill for second, very close, but yeah, nine four, I think, in the end it was. So, yeah, I'm quite, you know, quite pleased to manage to catch a couple in the end. So, for my uh, four pounds two or whatever it was but um, yeah I was beginning to think that uh, setting up my YouTube channel in the swim was uh, gonna uh, yeah give me the kiss of death every time I went fishing but uh, yeah managed to get a couple in the end so anyway it just goes to show never to give up last 15 minutes two casts two fish so uh, which got me fourth place and uh, yeah so which I'm quite pleased about in the end it uh, wasn't a particularly pleasant afternoon with the rain but I've certainly sat in a lot worse. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I really do appreciate you watching in the swim. I'm on my way home now, so it's uh, hopefully a nice dinner. And um, I, shall, uh, I shall see you very soon. So I'm Alan Andrews and this is In The Swim. And if you've enjoyed watching it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.